Hi, and welcome along to a very special video today on AFTV. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this story, right? A little while ago, I heard about this watch, this Rolex Arsenal watch that Mesut Ozil at an auction paid 30 grand for. Um, and it was Thierry Henry's watch and he bought it. And I was like, well, that's, where did that come from? What's this all about? Then about, what, about six weeks ago, I was at the Emirates and I saw this guy walking and he had on one of the watches. So I stopped him, I go, mate, what, is that one of those Rolex watches that, you know, the one with Ozil and that? I heard there was only 49 of them and he, and he goes, yeah, yeah. And he's really coy on it and really hush hush. I said, where did you get that from? I really like to find out a bit more about it. And then he said, all right, I'm gonna put you in contact with somebody. He's like, really, really hush hush secret sort of thing, right? He goes, I'm gonna put you in contact with someone who can give you a bit more information about this watch. And here we are, we're meeting up today with Luke from Titan Black. Thanks for having me. And uh, he's about to fill us in on this watch. As I said, how the story began was the watch being auctioned um, for £30,000 and Mesut Ozil buying it. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, um, that was the pre-release stage. So we had, um, to take it back, we, we created 49 limited editions and the concept came from Thierry. In, in whole. It, it Thierry Henry? Thierry Henry. Right. Thierry Henry, yeah. So it was, it's his idea? It's his concept, it's his, it's his identity in, in, in the product and it's, it's in collaboration with Arsenal and with the usage of some of the, the IP which we're going to show you. Yep. And uh, he approached us and said, look, how, how can we, we make this idea work? And obviously what we do is specialise in creating limited editions on very special timepieces. And in this case, it's a Rolex. So the actual, uh, the actual piece itself is uh, a Rolex Milgauss. And what we've done is take the clock, the old hybrid, the hybrid clock. clock. The old hybrid clock, that's right. why I spotted it straight away when that guy walked past me. Yeah. The, the old hybrid clock on it, yeah. That's it. So um, we, we started conceptualizing, okay, how can we trans, transist this, the, the iconic identity of, of, you know, it's gone from ivory, it's now the Emirates. What can we do, which is a symbol of um, all the passion and emotion and the feelings and everything that went into his, his time there. And uh, we came up with a, a watch that you could perfectly transist this onto. So obviously the, the Rolex Milgauss has no date. So you could take the clock and put it seamlessly and perfectly and, and put it onto the watch. So, so we were working with this identity and, and we came up with a, with a concept that worked. We created the sample, it looked incredible. And then we're like, right, okay, let's do this. Let's create 49, obviously. To symbolize uh, all of the emotions and the passions and feelings and everything that was, that was experienced there, the highs, the lows, the pain, the joy, the, the entire, you know, everything that you go through being a fan and being a player. And I know that you're an Arsenal fan yourself, aren't you? I'm a 22 year season ticket holder. You know, my mum's uh, got season tickets. You know, I mean, my whole family have been, it's through and through. So when, when the whole thing came about and fell in, into, into my lap, I was like, uh, okay, I have to do it. So the passion for me was getting yeah. this absolutely perfect because I realized the significance of it, you know. Yeah, but so basically it's a very exclusive watch because you've only made 49 of them. That's it, and there'll be no more made. So it's, no more it's, at all. Um, that's it, there's 49 and, and um, we're not gonna do a second run. It's, um, it's a very, very special, mm. unique offering on a very limited line, you know, and we, it needs to be kept in that way, you know, to protect, you know, first yeah. of all, the people that have, have bought them and, and, but also for the integrity of the project. It, it's, yeah. it's meant to be specifically 49 because yeah. that was, you know. Signifying, of course, the investment. Well, it could have been 50. If, it could have been 50 had somebody had not, yeah. you know. It's always, but, um, always yeah, signifying diving. that incredible yeah. season where we went unbeaten. Yeah. Um, the Invincible Edition is called, of course, and um, I want to see it, man. Okay, so this Come is it. Come on, I need to see this. 
The Invincible Edition. All right, it's a lovely box, by the way. Thank you. All. So. For you. Oh, it's looking special already. Look at that box. Wow. Here it is. I'm not entirely sure if the time's been set to three o'clock. Oh, Ten to five. Ten to five is probably like set it to that time for nowadays games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or twelve o'clock kickoffs like we had the other day against Fulham. special. So the watch has been, uh, has been customized with a, an amorphosized carbon plasma DLC. And DLC is diamond-like carbon. Right. It's a, um, it's a form of ion plating and uh, it's where they will uh, bombard the stainless steel with uh, a charged plasma and it, it atomically bonds inside the stainless steel. So the first thing you notice is that is it's completely unique and there is no other uh, black Rolex, uh, you know, on the market. So it's aesthetically very, very different. But it has many, many, uh, many, many benefits. It's super, super strong. It's it's about nine times harder than than stainless steel. It doesn't mark. It doesn't scratch. It reduces oxidation, porosity. It's it's a very, very durable product. They use it on things like um, helicopter rotor blades and. Mm. And those kinds of NASA and Formula One and in the military and it's very very durable but it's it's obviously beautifully um, mimics the mm. the substrate that it's bonded to so mm. it's um, yeah so it's seamless with the with the stainless steel and you're saying that all of them are numbered they are numbered individually on the back so okay. so they each have the the engraving of, of Thierry mm -hmm. on the back and then it's individually numbered. Um, which corresponds to the box, which corresponds to the guarantee key, guarantee card, and, and yeah, and that's it. That is the Invincible Edition. Wow, that is a beautiful watch. Now, if I wanted to get my hands on one of these, yep. how much would it cost? The, uh, the price is a closely guarded secret. Okay. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. I it's told you it's all a secret. It's it's, everything's a secret. It's, and I can't get nothing out of him. But um, So it's a closely guarded secret. So it, it really it is super exclusive, this, isn't it? It's exclusive to Arsenal fans, really. Yeah. I mean, that's the point. And it was, it was charged in a way that we, we wanted to make sure that it you know, went out specifically to Arsenal channels first. You mm. know, and, because there are there, Arsenal I mean, channels. Am I hearing now? <laughs> you mean like YouTube channels or? Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. um, but real, you know, the real, the real long-term fans that have always yeah. been around. And, and obviously, you know, with that era being, you know, um, one, or, one or two years back now, mm. um, that it tends to be a. a a database of, of the Arsenal, you know, and, and it went through exclusively through Arsenal first. So the yeah. exclusively li exclusivity lied with them um, yeah. for, for a period of time, and then um, it's now being made uh, available to the public. Um, but obviously, we only have a few left now. So, yeah. so, so if somebody wanted to get their hands on one, they could um, still, they can still buy them. They just get in contact with you. They can get in contact with us at Titan Black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll leave um, we'll leave a link in the description if you want to get in contact with Luke um, to find out more about it. But it's an amazing, amazing watch. And as, as what you said, that, that was the first thing that struck me when I saw it, is that I've never seen a black Rolex. And then obviously the clock, I mean, it just stands out. Well, that's, that was part of, the, uh, part of the legacy with the product that was that first and foremost, it had the, you know, a true narrative to it. It mm. was designed and conceptualized by Thierry. It was um, authorized by Arsenal to create it. So we, we put the most iconic piece of identity that we have that mm. transits all the way through from Highbury to where we are now. And it's a symbol of everything uh, that we experience. And we wanted to be a product which, when you look at it, it's not just a watch mm. that you bought. It's, it's <laughs> it, you can feel and see all the memories and it sounds a bit wishy-washy, but mm. You do. Every time I wear mine, I look at it and I think, oh, I, I, you know, mm. brings back. It must be um, brilliant doing this as, as an Arsenal fan. It must have been you know, fantastic. Yeah, it's 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 really great. And um, you know, other than the identity of the clock, which is totally unique, mm. um, it also has 
the um, the matching hands. So the hands are the same as, as the clock yeah. from Highbury, whereas on a normal milk house, you have a top seconds sweeping hand. Yeah. So we had to design and create hands which uh, had a special cap so you couldn't see through into the watch. There's many different things that had to be created yeah. in Switzerland before we could uh, roll out the product and mm. lots of R&D for, for quite a long time. You, you know, and it was, um, Thierry's process of design was super quick. I want that, I want that, and exactly. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, <laughs> now, now we have to get it right. So there was plenty of testing, and, and then when we were happy with the final product, and the DLC was perfect and seamless, and we, were, we started rolling them out, so. But listen, oh, thank you very much for um, you know, telling us about the, the watch. Once again, a pleasure. Let us know if, if there's anybody out there who can afford that secret amount, right? That I'm sure you'll let them know if they get in contact with you. Um, if they wanted to get hold of one of these watches, uh, how they go about doing it? Perfect, I will do, yeah. Put the bio in the link or... You still don't want to say <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, but by all means, we're, we're um, Titan Black, um, titanblack.co.uk, uh, we have um, a shop in uh, Mayfair and Duke Street, number six. Um, yeah, and uh, we'd love to hear from you if you're an Arsenal fan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.